Happy international break, everyone. Yes, it's that wonderful time of year where the football that everyone is super interested in stops. And then the football that a subsection of people are interested in starts for a little bit and then goes away. You know, it's just a beautiful time. It's a beautiful time. Now, if you're like me and you actually like international football, hey, I'm fine with it. I get to watch England. Maybe I'll watch another random game. If I, see, I see a country I'm interested in. Maybe I'll watch, maybe I'll watch Belgium. Maybe I'll watch... I don't know, pick another random country, you know, maybe I'll watch that. I don't mind international football. If anything, I think international football is like the pinnacle of a player's career, which would mean captain in the international side would be a huge deal. But I understand it if you don't know it. And new sites, by and large, they don't like it because nothing happens during international break. Nothing. How often is there new stories in the summer of a potential transfer and they're like, oh, they're going to get into talks once they get back from international break. That's just, it, it stops everything. It stops everything. And so everyone is on maximum clickbait mode because there's nothing else you can do. There's nothing else you can do. And so keeping all these things in mind, I'm scrolling through Twitter and I see this and I'm going to read the exact tweet out because I feel like it's necessary to explain the art of clickbait, right? Declan Rice or Harry Maguire could be named as England's vice captain for the Euros. Talk sport has been told. Now, I don't trust talk sport. I think they're trash, okay? Their entire model, they get people you know to say footballing hot takes and then they throw them at you to react. You requote, retweet, and that's the whole cycle. That's the business model. I see it, I respect it, I hate them for it, right? But even that, talk sport has been told, that makes it seem like there's a source here. That makes it seem like there's some in the know giving them information. Gareth Southgate's been thinking about Declan Rice as a potential vice captain. You know, we've heard Gareth Southgate saying nice things about Declan Rice. Declan Rice is starting most games for England. He's getting in that team all of the time. Maybe there's something there. Maybe there's something there. I click on it. I've officially been baited into the click. That's how clickbait works, right? I've officially been baited into the click. Now, to save you a click, there's nothing. The story is a big load of nothing. It comes from the ITK known as Darren Bent. Yes, that one. And the exact quote from the show, and again, I've written this down because I feel like it's important. I quite like the thought of Declan Rice. He's been captain for West Ham. There's your story. That's that's it. That's where that's come from. Darren Bent... Darren Bent just suggesting he might like to see Darren, uh, Declan Rice as vice captain if Jordan Henson doesn't make it because of his injury. That's the entire story here. Because if we were to break down the politics of England very quickly, Kane is the captain, Jordan Henson is the vice captain. Now that's locked down. Now if you're like me, I'd prefer to be Jordan Henson to be captain because I think Jordan Henson is underrated. I think Jordan Henson is brilliant as a captain. I think he's up there with the very best. I mean, look what he's done with Liverpool scenes. But he's not guaranteed to start. Kane is. Kane's the captain. Henson's vice captain. There's no doubting there. Now, Henderson, obviously injured at the moment. He may actually miss the tournament if he can't get back in time. So there is a vacancy there. Vice captain is available. The two names they've brought up, Harry Maguire and Declan Rice. Now, here's where I'm going to say something, perhaps perhaps against our self-interest as West Ham fans. And I want to know your opinions. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about this. Because to be honest with you, I would prefer it to be Harry Maguire. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is my West Ham side talking. I don't know if it's my realist side talking. Or whether this is just my England side talking. But I just think going into an international tournament... I would prefer Harry Maguire to be the vice captain of England. Now, again, as I said, I love international football. I think international football is one of the pinnacles of a player's career. Whenever, an Eng whenever a West Ham player gets called up for England or any other country, I get very excited for them. Because I'm like, you're going, you're doing your thing, you're representing your people, I respect it, I love it. Absolutely love it, right? And to be a captain of your country is, there's not much higher. That is such a horrendously large honour. But Declan Rice is in such a unique position. He's in such a delicate position right now. We all know he gets criticised way too much when he plays for England because the casual fans who don't support West Ham see him and go, oh, he's not very good. And that's because he's a defensive midfielder, right? He's a defensive midfielder in a team who, by and large, are facing teams like San Marino, who they basically don't even have to turn up against and beat 5-0. Like, there's no tomorrow. 
you don't need a defensive midfielder in that team, in that system. He's not going to be useful there. When he is going to be useful is at a tournament, at a World Cup, when you're facing big teams. You're facing your Frances, your Spains, your... I don't need to name countries. You know countries. Belgium, there's a country. You know them, right? When you face teams like that, that's when a defensive midfielder comes into play. And he is probably almost certainly going to be that defensive midfielder. Now, if Jordan Henderson comes back, there's an argument that Henderson might start ahead of him in that role and you supplement him with other people, especially if we're playing in this 4-3-3 we seem to be playing now. There's an argument Jordan Henderson will start ahead of him. However, if he's not there, Declan Rice is going to be starting that position. That's a lot of pressure to begin with. Don't add pressure onto him by giving him the armband. Like, I get it. And I would love to see him captain England. However, at this stage... I don't want it to happen. I don't think it's the right time for him. I just don't. But let me know how you feel. Would you want to see Declan Rice be the captain and be the vice... Be, it doesn't be captain, be the vice captain. So it would take Henderson not going and Kane for some reason not to be playing. Would you like it to be him? I would say Maguire. I think you could say Sterling is a great candidate. He was the captain for the San Marino game when Kane wasn't playing. He's one of these people, leads by example, a great, uh, a great professional. Connor Cody, another person who keeps getting mentioned at the moment, he played um, against San Marino. Whether he makes the England squad or not is another thing. And again, I don't think he's going to be starting. I think the starting people is going to be Stones and Maguire. So in that case, it comes down really to Rice and Maguire. And I just, I just think, I think Maguire is the better option there. I do think Maguire is the better option. Now, again, I wish to stress, not some inside source, not some ITK knowledge is Darren Bent. It, that's all it is it's the guy who was pretty prolific up front did that, that goal once do you remember the one where he hit off the beach ball against Liverpool when he was playing for Sunderland yeah good striker good striker not an in the know no no knowledge there coming into it it's just his opinion but what's yours let me know in the comments below because I'm interested to see if it's just me who wouldn't want to see that pressure put on Rice at such an early age I think Rice has the time to go on to become England vice captain and captain in the future he's got he's got time on his hands you know Kane and Henderson they're not going to be there the entire time Henderson might not even make the squad for the next tournament at that stage maybe you're looking at Declan Rice but before then I don't know let me know what you think though because I want to know if it's just me who has that concern if it's just me who has that worry for Declan Rice being a captain at an international tournament at this stage during his career because I'm well aware I'm probably going to be the only one with that opinion Anyway, there you go. I hope you're enjoying your international break. I hope England win today. I've obviously recorded this before the match, so I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't even know. This video might even be out before the match. I genuinely have no clue because I'm recording it on Saturday night. Um, but hey, hope we, hope we win. Hope we win because we usually do at this stage, but it's always good to see. You always love to see it. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. And uh, I'm sure we'll have some exciting video tomorrow. I can't remember what it is. Um, Gio did tell me. I've forgotten. No inside information. Sorry. Sorry. See you later.